I call Rahui Katane. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I was not going to take a call on this bill, but in order to uh, prevent uh, speakers from the Labour Party from dragging on and on and on about a bill which we should be able to deal with in five minutes, I am taking this opportunity to say that we support this bill. I call Amy Adams. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Like the uh, three speakers who have spoken immediately before me, I don't want to spend a long time on what is a very simple uh, bill. And I think uh, I, I said everything I wanted to say about the importance of getting the regulatory environment right to move the country ahead in, in my contribution earlier this week on the regulatory reform bill. No, this isn't a significant bill. It's not a world-changing bill. But nonetheless, it's a bill uh, that needs to be done. And I think, sir, that the fact that some of the pieces of legislation now being repealed include things uh, like the District Railways Purchasing Act from 1885 and the New Zealand Institute of Journalists Act 1895 uh, a testament in themselves as to how long overdue uh, an exercise like this is. It's not just about making sure we don't create too much new regulation that when we do it's right. It's also, sir, about making sure that when regulation is no longer required, we do get rid of it, we do tidy it up off the books, uh, and that, sir, is what this, this legislation is all about. I'm very pleased to see, sir, that uh, in the words of Mission Impossible, this bill itself will self-destruct 28 days after its passing to make sure that it doesn't commit you know, the same folly as those uh, bills we're now having to deal with uh, of remaining on the statute books long after its time. Uh, with that, sir, I'm pleased to commend it to the House. Cole Clear Curran. 